Hey everybody, this is Erica and I just want, let me get this a little bit closer here, okay. So I am going to do a DIY for you tonight and this one is one, it's one of my favorites, we use it all the time around my house, it is to replace soft scrub. So a lot of times we use the cleaning pastes to clean in the tub, to clean our grout in the kitchen to clean around the toilet. Um, those are very useful. And I have found, looking at the ingredients in the soft scrubs you buy at the store, that there are quite a few toxic things in there. And so I didn't want that in my home. So I replaced it with a homemade soft scrub. So this is, this cleaning paste, just call it a cleaning paste, is super simple to make and it is really easy to use and it works just as well. So we are going to start, actually, we're gonna start with some Thieves Household Cleaner. And we have, we're going to use, oops, we're gonna use 3 fourths of a cup of Thieves Household Cleaner. This is a super concentrated, super concentrated cleaner. And usually you use just a cap full for a 16 ounce bottle and then fill it with water and it's a multi-purpose cleaner for the house. This is a concentrated recipe. So we're going to add in a tablespoon of vinegar. And as you can see, I buy, I buy in bulk, you guys. This is, this is just how I roll. Don't overdo it on the vinegar, just, just a tablespoon, okay? And then, oops, my lemon oil. We're gonna put about 30 drops of lemon oil in. Got several, several double drops coming out there, okay? So we're gonna just mix this up just a little bit. Just incorporate the lemon oil in with the vinegar and the Thieves Household Cleaner. I don't know if you can see that, it's just, just a slightly amber looking liquid at the moment. Okay, and our next, our next ingredient is baking soda. Okay, so we need three cups of this. We're gonna do it a little bit at a time. So we're gonna take I'm gonna actually get my hand in here because well, that's just life, right? Okay, I'm gonna put just a little bit, a little bit at a time. It may get a little bit uh, foamy because of the vinegar. That's okay. We're gonna put that cup in and then we're gonna stir and incorporate it all in. This is still going to be pretty much liquid at this point. But it's going to look a little bit more uh, pale because of the whiteness of the baking soda. We're going to get another cup of baking soda. Go ahead and just put that right in. And we're going to stir. I'm using a fork on purpose because it helps to break it up and just keep stirring and get just a little bit hard to stir at first and then you can incorporate it in and it's no problem. So this is a little bit thicker but not quite where we want it to be yet. So it, it almost looks like soft serve ice cream. All right, and then we're gonna put in one more cup of baking soda. Okay, one more cup. And just keep stirring, 
Use the fork to gently work it in. This is going to be a thick paste that you can dilute with a little bit more water when you start to work with it on your counter or whatever, um, wherever you're going to use the paste. So now it's going to look and feel a little more like dough. I wouldn't eat it, but it won't hurt you if you do. I don't think it will taste very good with all the baking soda. There we go. That's looking right. So it'll be a little bit stiff. A little bit stiff. So then what I do is I just put this into a container. And I have one in uh, my bathrooms and in the kitchen. And then when I need it, I just take a little bit out and I put it where I need it. This is great for my porcelain sink. It helps the sink to get white. What I like to do is at nighttime after every, everybody's in bed, I'll go and I'll scrub the sink really, really well and then I'll put this paste on it and I'll let it sit overnight because I've got some stains in my sink. It's, it's an older sink and so when I get up in the morning and I rinse it off, and maybe scrub a little bit more if I need it, but um, when I rinse it off, it's a lot more white in the morning just by leaving the paste on overnight. So, <clears throat> my favorite paste and zero toxins. So if you're looking to get rid of toxins in your home to go for more clean-based cleaners and green cleaners, this is the way to go. So that recipe is three-fourths of a cup of baking, I'm sorry, three cups of baking powder, and that's added last. The liquids are added first. That's 30 drops of lemon, three-fourths cup of Thieves Household Cleaner, and one tablespoon of vinegar. All right, I hope you enjoyed this, and have a great day.